System Shock 1 short video game review. The year is 2072. You're caught hacking into Trioptimum's space station, Citadel Station. Instead of being arrested and put in jail, you're offered a deal by the executive of the station who, in exchange for you fiddling with the AI, will give you a cyber interactive implant, something like that, cyber interface. Now, once you've done that, you, you're in a coma healing from that surgery for six months, and when you wake up, something has gone very wrong. When you messed with the AI, you removed its ethical limitations, constraints, and the AI known as Shodan has gone insane. She, she fancies herself a god, and she's going to change life in her image. So pretty much every, every crewman of the station when you wake up, you find that they have been turned into a cyborg or a mutant or just killed. You're the only one who can shut her down. And the, the station is armed with heavy weaponry. Yeah, you, someone has to sh shut her down. You're the only one who can. Now, this has an, a very chilling atmosphere, very creepy throughout. And it's aided by you being alone on the station. Everyone you meet is an enemy of yours. And and all of these enemies are horrifying, you know, or become horrifying. Some of the early ones are just, you know, early ones are just malfunctioning robots, but later on, just, yeah, horrible mutations of man and animal, you know, they've, they've spliced certain animals together, and these cyborgs that, you know, you can tell this is where the human body went, and yeah. And the, you know, there, there are a number of aspects that this pretty much premiered, and that, you know, many of which that we today take for granted. This is a hybrid of first-person shooter, action-adventure, and some RPG elements, and all of that is, is great. Unfortunately, there, there is an issue with the controls and the HUD, which are too complicated and lead to a lot of frustration. If you can get past this, get past that, this is a great game that, you know, in addition to just having a lot of these things that we now more or less take for granted. Yeah, it has a lot of stuff that is very unique to it. The these enemies are, you know, going to haunt your nightmares and the the station feels organic. It feels like it used to work. You know, it's it's not created just so you can run through it. And yeah, the there are a number of cool things you can do in this. There, there are, there's hardware that you attach to your body and use, you know, energy shields, night vision. You know, the weapons include EMP grenades, gas grenades, you know, full-on assault rifles. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of really cool stuff here. If you like this review and one more detailed one, the link will be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.